Oh god, why did it spawn me on the corner? I can't turn! Oh god. That's it! No, she's gone. She's, she's fucking gone. Good job, Gaussian. Good job. Oh no, Ash. He spawned me on an angle and I tried turning and then the trolley fell off. You should have just went for it. No, you can't because there's fucking hangers there, you dill. <laughs> Gaussian's like, that. let's ruin Ash's day. It's not ruining my day, it's stupid fucking spawn system no one collides in, in, in fucking i don't it's like oh let's fit all the players on the fucking airfield incoming the old airfield placement <laughs> it's the airfield placement dude bloody hell they couldn't get that more wrong this aircraft needs to go in a straight line it can't turn i'm amazed you didn't blow up yeah, because my trolley fell off and then it damaged my right wing and I went in spinny spinny circle lamp. Well, if you damaged your wings, aren't your, all your jet fuel is in, in your wing? No. No, it's in the center. It uh, is in the wings okay. and not in the outer part of the wings. It is in m most part of the fuel is in the center. Uh. Hey guys, few things frustrate me more than War Thunder. It's a great game, but god damn does it annoy the hell out of me. I have played the game for a very long time and it's, well, nice to see that the slightest thing still, till this day, 70 years on, that, uh, well, can frustrate the living daylights out of me. It's a rather strange feeling knowing that you're one of the oldest players still providing occasional content and obviously playing, uh, the game. And while I love it to bits, it's also caused its fair share of controversy in the past and, well, sometimes you just have to address the issues head on and, well, other times you have to be more selective on how you approach the state of War Thunder. The clip at the start of the video is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to War Thunder's issues and while, as a whole, you know, they are wide and varied depending on who you go to, opinions and solutions on how you would <coughs> fix the game, it differ greatly and discussions often go around in circles between other content creators and even the wider community alike. I suppose that I'm lucky in a way. The last few months I've been focused in other areas in my life and I really have not kept up uh, with the game as much. Could this just be me or each patch just tends to be more and more disappointing as it goes along? Don't get me wrong, War Thunder needs to continue to add content at a steady pace. That's just how the game keeps alive. But without fresh content, the game will inevitably die. It'll be dead out of the water if Gaussian does not continue to patch in content. Instead, I have seen floating around what could be described as a proposition to a major overhaul of the things we consider wrong. Albeit a community patch, if that's what you want to call it. A suggested patch would bring War Thunder up to scratch, that will fix bugs, flight models, damage models, update HD textures and models for skins and in-game vehicles, and I've also seen a range of other various things suggested as well. As per usual, battle rating changes and decompression are in the top most discussed topics among the wider community, and well, I don't really like the idea of this. First of all, if such a patch were to happen, what would be changed first? What changes does the community want right away that we could all agree on that would help make War Thunder a better game in the long run? It annoys me to no end when people just shout out hashtag fix the game because really it achieves nothing and like that clip at the start of the video it can be the smallest things that could be changed. However we run into a problem of deciding what things we want changed and why. If Gaussian said okay you have to come up with a list of 10 things that the, most of the community would like to be fixed it would probably end poorly. Even if they sat down with us content graders and suggested that we all come together to write a list of 10 things that needed to be fixed drastically and uh, with some sort of professionalism, we probably couldn't come together and even decide on just a, a basic list of 10 things out of that. We all have a different idea, we all have different play styles, we all have different things we like, different things we don't like. The game is too broad and too varied. It's not exactly an arcade game. It's not exactly a simulator either. It sort of sits in that arcade simulator market. And with such a variety of different so game modes and different you know things you can do and different things you can play, the problem is not exactly narrowed either because Gaussian is spreading out all their resources between obviously air, naval and ground and obviously there are now different game modes for each different uh, combined arms or even during confrontation sort of events. 
So what do you do? Do you complain about one area of the game? Or do you complain about the many issues that War Thunder has? No game is perfect and no game will be perfect, but the reality of it is that no matter what we do, there is always going to be something that is broken. So this is what I'd like to see happen. This is by no means a solution to any of the previous things I have mentioned, but it could in some ways make things a little better. Let me put it this way. There are certain things that annoy me for a start, and I get quite fed up with some of these issues. Now, where would we start? Obviously, more game modes. Make better game modes. The game as is is really repetitive. It is kind of a bit stale. This is across all game modes. Granted, we do have Enduring Confrontation, there are custom events, and there are so many different things. But Gaijin really needs to focus on the core of its players and sort of look at where everybody is sort of playing. It's something that everybody has been complaining about, and it is a necessity. There's nothing that grinds my gears more and annoys the literal shit out of me than a crew lock. Oftentimes you'll take off, and sometimes you'll be slipping or not paying attention. Sometimes you'll have internet connection issues, and you will just get an 8 minute crew lock out of the blue. It is unconducive, it doesn't necessarily inspire you to continue playing the game, and well let's be honest, when you're waiting for 4.5 minutes or sometimes 5 or 6 minutes to get in a match, especially late at night when nobody's playing, that's basically Australian prime time, and depending on the vehicles you play, no one is really playing the game. It's sort of just sit there stagnating, so you're waiting and wasting a lot of time, and it is utterly annoying. Another thing I have touched on in the past is the spontaneous explosions upon landing or taking off. In any given aircraft, you can basically explode randomly regardless of damage or not on a final approach, takeoff, landing, or even just taxiing down a runway and it is utterly annoying. You might, you might have seen it, you may have had it happen to you, but it needs to be fixed. Aircraft randomly exploding, regardless of damage or not, regardless of what state they are, and on whether whatever part of final or takeoff, is a problem, and I'd like to see that fixed as well. Now, I'm also particularly annoyed about Air Force maps. You know, obviously, get rid of the ground force map in ARRB. It's just a flat-out copy-and-paste objectives, copy-and-paste airfields with inline sort of stuff. The bombing points are directly behind or in front of the airfields. It's not inspiring. It's copy-paste. There's a line of vehicles in the center of the map. It's just team deathmatch, really. And you can quite clearly tell because the map is flat and then there's one detailed area which is just meant for the tanks, but instead you've ported it over to aircraft because, well, you can't be bothered de designing decent maps. It's one of my pet peeves. At least have decent objectives like bomb a railway station or, you know, clean out a, a dock yard or a factory area or clean up a rail yard, you know. There are plenty of other objectives you could add to air realistic and add to existing maps or just have a rotation or a random variation of, of events that could possibly happen on a given map that would make things a little more interesting for players and spice things up a little bit. How about an AI uh, bomber formation that you've got to escort or on the same map in the next match you go into, how about you've got to destroy a train or or this kind of different objective or patrol this area for a bit or stop the enemy from coming over here. It'd make things a little easier in a way. My pet peeve is obviously balancing stuff by repair costs. How is that even conducive to helping the game? If you want to balance stuff, balance it by its BR. I move things up into its correct BR, you know, maybe decrease the amount of RP it's getting, but by, inc you know, increasing repair costs, all that is doing is further fueling your own self-sustaining, uh, you know, pay for silver lions economy, and I can't say I enjoy that at all. But that's just a few things that pisses me off. Don't get me started on the hype train problem. Uh, the fact that the dev servers are being used as marketing material, uh, Gaussian only having a select few, few people to do quality assurance, um, obviously all the stuff with ground forces, bombers, um, oh, the list just goes on and on. Obviously, a matchmaker with mixed nations and arcade plus, uh, arcade aircraft damage models where tails elevators rudders and other flight components get one tapped quite easily instead of being more durable for like for existence on bombers which should have a slightly higher durability but not to an overpowered extent 
Uh, obviously tail ripping in massive segments with just one taps. Uh, aircraft pilots being sniped uh, from, you know, through thick armor plating. And I mean, this is just the surface. You're barely getting scratched. I've only just sort of touched on aviation related matters that, you know, I've somewhat been exposed to over the last few years. Ground forces has got its own problems. Naval's got its own problems. Let me know what you would think and what you would change and why. But uh, thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.